I know tons of you guys are going out there on those sports boats and catching and bringing home rockfish. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a fish cake out of rockfish and on top of that we're going to have fried pickles. And I'm going to show you exactly how easy that's going to be. Um, you're going to take me out and teach me how to rock this today? Yeah. Okay, sure. Ah, are you, <laughs> you going to share all your secret spots with me today? Uh, except just one spot. Oh, except yeah, one. Yeah, okay. I mean, you, you have to be, you got to have some cash. <laughs> all there right. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, Gabe, let's see your fish. Whoa! Oh my god! Is that legal? Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, easy! Oh, that's, that's dinner right there, baby! Wow! Awesome! Oh, I'm on! Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh. Woo oh my god! Yeah, yeah! Holy crapola! Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Before you drop down, you got to get a little closer to me. Because I'm over the hot and heavy area right now. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. Check this out, Gabe. Oh, look at this. On a dead squid, I love it. Yeah. Nice fish. All right, gang, here are my ingredients. I've got about a two and a half pound fresh, beautiful vermilion here. I've got some onions, red bell peppers, some parsley, lemon, jalapenos, eggs, dill pickles, pepper, olive oil, mayo, breadcrumbs, salt, and potato chips. So we're gonna put all this together and come up with a great meal. Hold your horses, here we go. Okay. Time to fillet the fish. God, I had so much fun catching this fish. I went fishing with my buddy Gabe. We, uh, we've been doing a lot of rock fishing together. And we just have a total blast catching these things. 80% of the time we come home with fish, it's just uh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Okay, so I've got lots of meat up in here and all throughout here. I'm gonna try and grab as much meat, especially around the root cage as I can, because um, it's all gonna go into the broiler and then I'm gonna flake it off with the fork and then into our fish cake, so. All right, gang, I've got my fillets. It's time to lather them up with some olive oil, some salt, pepper, put them on some tin foil, pop them under the broiler, no longer than four or five minutes, maybe even three or four minutes. I just wanna partially cook them, maybe 60, 70% of the way, because they're gonna finish cooking off after they become a fish cake in the frying pan, so. We don't want to overcook our fish. Never overcook your fish. So, and this is just as simple as can be. Just grab a little bit of olive oil. Okay. A little salt and pepper. Always season your fish. Man, this looks so good. It always looks good. And then with a brush, I'm just going to brush this olive oil all over. And then, guess what? I'm going to flip it over and do it again. And, uh, the other. Time to pop them in the oven. Okay, you guys, it's been about three and a half, four minutes. Let's take a look. Oh, that, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Perfect, okay. First things first, we're going to heat up the frying pan. Then we're going to put... Uh, maybe about one or two tablespoons of oil. Bingo. All right, 
it's time to start dicing up our onions and our red pepper and our jalapeno. We are cooking with gas. Always season as you go. Salt. Pepper. These are going to soften up no more than five minutes. Then we're going to let them cool off a little bit and we're going to continue to go with our mix. Alright, a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Here we go. Now you can use ordinary breadcrumbs, you can use seasoned Italian breadcrumbs, or you can even use panko breadcrumbs. I've got some pankos going on there. This is going to help absorb uh, some of the liquid and help bind everything together. And speaking of binding together, two heaping tablespoons of mayo. One. Two. Uh, two eggs. The juice of one lemon. I'm going to chop up probably about three tablespoons of parsley. Now I turn off the fire on my, um, my aromatics, my onions, and my bell peppers, and my jalapenos. I've let them cool off, so it's time to add them to the mix. And last but not least, here are our cooked vermilion fillets. As you can tell, I flaked them up with a fork. That's the last ingredient to go in here. There we go. And we're going to give this a nice mix. And then, we're going to actually let this cool off in the refrigerator for a half hour to an hour. So once it cools off, it'll firm up on us and then we'll be able to form them into cakes and put them on the frying pan. In the meantime, I'm going to show you guys how to fry up pickles while this is cooling off in the refrigerator. So, here we go. Once again, in my bag, I've got flour. Now, um, I didn't season the flour because the dill pickles are so well seasoned. Um, I've got approximately, these are sliced dill pickles, and I've got about a cup of these dill pickles. They're a little on the moist side, but that's okay. The flour will absorb that. Shake them up. Oh, oh don't make too much of a mess. Okay, I'm going to throw a little bit of flour. Oh yeah, look at it sizzle. This is the way you can tell if your oil is hot enough. When you throw flour in there and it stays on the top and it just sizzles, it's hot enough. So now I'm going to reach over with my hands to get the excess flour off these pickles and drop them in the oil. Just like that. I know it's hard to believe, but trust me, these are so yummy and they go so well with fish. Believe me, this doesn't take long. you guys so good. I'm letting you guys in on my secrets here. Fried pickles. These are absolutely insane. Let's move on to uh, the formation of the fish cakes. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Oh, oh good. Mmm, so good. Oh, so hot. Mmm. Wow. Alright, gang. We are getting close to the end. Okay. So I've taken my uh, fish cake mix out of the refrigerator. It's been sitting there for an hour. It's been chilling. And what you've got to do is you're going to take this with your hands and you're going to form it into a nice big fat hamburger patty. Now if it's too wet and too sticky, you can, you can add more breadcrumbs and firm it up just a little bit just so you can work with it with your hands. We're going to dip it in an egg wash. I'll show you how to make that real quick. And then we're going to dip it into a secret ingredient that I haven't told you guys about. Oh my god, that's right, potato chips. These potato chips are going to add a wonderful crunch, a wonderful salty bite, and flavor that's completely unexpected with your fish cakes. Believe me, you're going to go crazy. You're going to go crazy. Crazy. Hold on, here's what we're going to do. First thing I'm going to do is make up my egg wash. Now, I don't have a lot to work with, so I'm only going to crack one egg open. Opa. You know the routine, a little bit of water. And I'm going to take my fork and stir this up. There we go. Wait a 
whether you're forming up fish cakes or whether you're forming up hamburger patties, wet your hands with some water. Otherwise, things will stick to your hands and it won't form right. So let me go wet my hands. Okay, so I've moistened up my hands. Here we go. Oh yeah, it feels really good. Here we go. So that's a really good secret, believe me. Moisten up your hands. Okay. Into the egg mix. Potato chip encrusted fish cakes with fresh vermilion. Where in the world are you going to find that? You tell me. You tell me. Oh, and there you have it, boys. Vermilion fish cakes, fried pickles, and the vermilion fish cakes are encased in potato chips. I mean, believe me, you think you're going to be in heaven? That is in heaven. Heaven. Do you know what heaven is? I'll tell you what heaven is. Heaven is being a SoCal fisherman, going out in the water, catching all the raw fish you want, coming home and cooking this up. This is Yanni, and I want to thank you for being inside the fisherman's belly. I hope you guys try this. I know you're going to love it. Take care.